I almost forgot and my apologies for forgetting because I'm used to people sending me the um, the the messages on Twitter <laughs> and I actually didn't miss one and sometimes that happens but I'm glad I caught it um, this is from Edward Powell my bad I'm really sorry for nearly forgetting your question but I'm gonna go ahead and answer it and thank you for the hashtag sweet but anyway um your question for me is Chris Benoit is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time who is one of your favorite wrestlers duh the nature boy Ric Flair <laughs> Honestly, I have many favorite wrestlers, but I will say I love the Nature Boy for one reason. Well, two reasons. Number one, I loved his hair. Back in the day, in the 80s, oh my gosh, he had the best hair in the business. Gorgeous, just gorgeous blonde hair. And his finesse, his, his style, his charisma, I loved everything about him as a kid. And I had, I will admit, I had a huge crush on Ric Flair. Because Ric Flair just had that, just that pizzazz he had something that charisma just oozing off of him and i just admired him for that hence one of my favorite wrestlers pretty i'm not gonna say of all time but he's up there maybe with the top five he's practically number one in my book hence the nature girl 30 i am a fit well, besides the fact i love nature too but i will say that i love the nature boy Ric flair there you go one of my favorite wrestlers of all time and thank you for sending me that question and you will go on the credits didn't forget you, but let's move on to this Q and A. What is up, people? Nature Girl Thirty here, and this is another mini Q and A. Y'all are awesome for sending me all these questions, and. I am doing my best to try to keep up with them, but y'all are awesome for keeping it under five. So I will try to do my best to keep it under 30 minutes. But let's get started with the first set of questions coming from Largest85 via Twitter. Um, his first question for me is, how did your dog run away and how long ago? Sorry about him. I appreciate it. It broke my heart when Joker ran away and it's been nearly a year now. Actually, it has been a year now since Joker's been gone. Um, I was playing with them out. I was playing with them, and then all of a sudden, um, the the the, uh, the day without a leash, uh, the day before he ran away, I was playing with him when he didn't have his leash, like without a leash running around. And usually, when he's with Jesse, he's fine. But then all of a sudden, when I let him go to the bathroom with his leash on, he kind of he kind of got away from me, and then he just jack just went straight into the woods. Um, he got lost in the swamp for several days. I actually went in there and unfortunately I got nothing but cuts and bruises by it and I couldn't get him out. All I can do right now is just pray that he got out and he's roaming about. Maybe he has a new home now. Because I couldn't get him out. It was way too much ground to cover. It was uncharted, full of gators. Couldn't get in, I couldn't get to him. So, yeah, that he just got away from me and didn't come back. But when I actually did get a call, they found two labs that fit kind of um, Joker and Jesse's description and he had no collar on so at least he didn't get caught with a, without his collar so that's uh, with his collar on him he, at least he was able to escape his collar which is good um, he didn't get caught on anything um, Jesse ran with him but Jesse came back but on his own and Joker didn't but I can only pray that he's with a whole new family and enjoying life that's all I can say or if he's not with a family he's still roaming out there <laughs> Cause he's that dog was a hunter like he would take care of himself he would literally hunt kill and eat squirrels in my face seriously whole no problem no like not throwing up or anything he would swallow him whole he'll chew him up of course but he just you know he would just devour it and it's weird he just had the instincts of a hunter but anyway that's enough about Joker I pray that he's in a, in a much better place right now moving on to your next question does the Lex Man ever annoy you with this constant whining? Now, yes, I know this is about another YouTuber, but the fact is you're asking how I feel about it, so I'm just going to continue to talk about it, and it's not negative. It seems like it's a legit question, so I'm going to answer it. Um, no, I don't consider him whiny. I will say that I don't agree to some of his, you know, for some of his opinions. I don't agree with them, but I do respect that he has opinions. But no, I, I don't really think he's coming off as whiny. Not in my opinion. I don't think he is. Um, ever had trouble falling asleep with too much on your mind? Especially when you wake up early the next day. Um, at the moment, no. Um, for me, I don't fall asleep. 
I pass out and wake up the next day and it's mostly because I'm tired from coming home from work and I just pass out on the bed that's why I don't lay on the bed till I go to bed because I will wake up and it'll be the next day um and, and I know that you're having issues sleeping and you probably do have a lot on your noggin <laughs> well the only thing I can I mean for me I read you know I, I, I read the word and that definitely puts me to sleep it makes me feel comfortable to where I can just literally just go up, just drift off into a slumber and wake up the next day when I do have a lot on my mind. And that has happened to me before. I Sometimes I do have bouts of insomnia. But okay, when I do, sometimes I watch YouTube videos all night, which I wouldn't do because you will literally be up for like hours. But <laughs> for me, I actually do read, uh, sometimes I do read the word. It relaxes me and I just go straight to, straight, straight to sleep. <laughs> As you can see, I'm tired right now. It's probably why I'm slurring so much. But anyway, moving on to the next question that you have for me is, um, what do you think about Sting getting injured in his match with Rollins? Is his career possibly over since it was serious? Honestly, I really don't know. And I don't really, I'm kind of surprised that Sting, I, I'm really surprised that Sting did not, quit after his match with Triple H. I thought he was going to officially be done, but he really does want to face Taker. I don't think his career is over. I just think it's kind of slowed down right now. I mean, that's just my opinion of it. I don't think it's completely over. Um, he's just taking a break and trying to heal up. I mean, shoot, you say the same thing about Taker, and Taker, he's been through it all, so I don't really see it as completely serious. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not going to say it isn't serious. It's an injury. But do I think his career is over? No, not yet. I wish he would retire, but that's just me personally. But not like that. Um, and your last question for me is: I know you don't smoke. I know you don't smoke, but I'm trying to quit. What is the best advice that you can give me? Um, a lot of people chew gum. A lot of people, you know, eat a lot of vitamin C and stuff like that. The only thing I can say is, what is making you want to smoke in the first place? I know the nicotine, yeah, that's the craving, of course. The craving does make you want to smoke more. But what was it that made you want to smoke in the first place? I guess that's the only thing I can think about. Like, if you know the reason why you do something, then maybe it will maybe it'll help you stopping it. I, I'm not, I mean, that's just my humble opinion of it. But I will say is this. Some people actually do use nicotine gum. And that actually does kind of curb the cravings to where they don't crave the nicotine anymore. I mean, there's lots of methods that you can use um, from, like like I said, from chewing um, chewing gum to um, chewing nicotine gum to eat it, to um, taking vitamin C. Um, there's lots of things that you can pretty much do. And also, if people do smoke because of nerves, you know, find out what's causing you all that stress and eliminate it. I mean, I mean, that's, those are just three, poss those, not three, but those are several possibilities that might be able to help you. Um, I mean, that's the only, that's the best I can think of at the moment. But thank you for sending me those questions. And I do hope, and I will, I, I definitely will pray for you, especially when you're going through, you know, that trying to quit. So I will, I will definitely, you know, keep you in my heart and in my prayers. And I hope that you will um will quit smoking especially something that you really want to do so i hope you achieve that goal um moving on to final limits and final limits send it to me via facebook um your first question for me is um oh about monkey dashy um what did you think about monkey's video or that monkey dashy that i sent you honestly i actually did subscribe to dashy um, Dashy XP2. I didn't know that Dashy Games was the same channel. I did, I was actually looking for his channel, look for a video. And Epic Mail Time, by far, is one of my favorites, especially the fact he got a freaking sword. And I am a huge fan of swords. I love swords. I collect swords. So, the fact that he got a sword, or he already got my sub. So, <laughs> and he is pretty funny, and he definitely is out there. Like, that dude has more energy. Uh, shoot, he has more energy in his voice than I do th pretty much throughout the day. <laughs> and it's nice to see energy like that. And he's, I mean, that guy is hyped up. And that video that you that you sent me was really funny. You know, it, it was really funny to watch. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, he already got my sub for his, um, for his Dashy XP2. 
And I think I sub for his dashy games. The guy's pretty cool. Plus, he got a freaking sword. Enough said. Got my vote right there. Got my sub right there. Um, moving on. Why did you get mad at Justin Side for? Okay. You're asking me a question about Justin Side. I'm going to straight up say it. Justin Side continuously is, is sending me a lot of racial remarks about my friends inside of his questions in parentheses. And like I told everybody else, I'm not answering any more questions about race. I am not answering any more questions that insults my friends or about my friends. And he consistently does it. I have no problem with him sending me questions, but the last thing I want is for anybody to send me questions that insults people that I care about. So, so just all respect for everyone sending me questions. And I appreciate that you do. Don't send me any more of those. And I've already told him that in my last Q&A. And he's done it multiple times. But it was my fault that I didn't say anything sooner. But it did kind of come off as a fume that time. And there was a lot going on with me. But at the, but at the moment, yeah, it came off as a big volcano explosion. And, that, and for that reason, he didn't deserve that. I should have told him ahead of time. But now he knows. He knows that he shouldn't do that anymore. And, that's, and I got mad at him for that reason because it was just something that was building up. But I should have told him straight up. And I should have just been honest with him straight up. No more. Even though I made several videos not to send me any more of those things. But I had to make it clear that time. How I, how I exploded. Maybe that wasn't the best appropriate way to handle it. But I will say that I will not answer any more questions like that. And, I, and he knows that. And I've made everybody clear about that. Even I did a Q&A telling you guys not to send me that. But I appreciate y'all that don't. But for him, I made sure. Especially about some of my friends that I do care about. But I appreciate your questions. Um, moving on to number three. Have you ever get a, did you ever get a wrestling game and you create your, that you would create yourself and your friends on it? Um, the only wrestling game that I have is um, WWE 2K13. Yeah, I got 2K13. That's the only wrestling game that I have right now. Is I'm in the process of thinking about getting an Xbox One. So, and there's a lot more games that they have coming out around that, um, in that system that I'm really thinking about getting. But no, I haven't really created anything with anybody because I just played the Attitude Era. <laughs> that's pretty much what I did. I played the Attitude Era for 2K13 and that's all I played it for was for the Attitude Era. But I never took the time to create a wrestler or anything. Um, I know my nephew did, but I did not. <laughs> Um, even though I, I am thinking about doing it, but I'm going to probably do it when I have Xbox One. But, good questions. Um, what did you think of my Freddie Thomas, uh, I guess, call on SmackDown versus Raw 2010? Uh, yeah, I saw that pick, and I'm going to be honest, that's not Freddie. <laughs> that definitely is not Freddie. It looks... It's not Freddy. <laughs> not at all. I don't I, I don't particularly like it, but hey, if you like it more power to you, but no, it's not Freddy. It looks like one of those characters from um I don't know, from Bit I can't I can't remember. Those little bit comics that you that you make and put it on your Facebook. It looks like one of those bit comics. But but no, it's weird. <laughs> I don't like it pretty much. And your last question for me is what if Kelly Kelly and Maurice were still in WWE? What place do you think they would have the Divas in the Divas um, Revolution storyline? Um, they wouldn't have a place. And I'll say this: maybe Maurice, but not Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly was from the whole model diva time where the where the divas weren't taken very seriously. Even though Kelly Kelly has improved leaps and bounds with the way that she wrestles, she's way too bubblegummy. I mean, I, I, mean, I will say this. She'll probably, maybe, it's a possibility that she may, um, I mean, she would have to be a little bit more edgier. I mean, she wouldn't, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really see Kelly Kelly fit, fitting in for the Divas Revolution now. Um, Maurice, yes, because Maurice is vicious. She's vicious, she has a bit of an edge, she's a great heel, as well as a great ballet. I can see her fitting in there. As for Kelly Kelly, she would have to completely change her image and not be so... Well, she did a little bit when she was um, when she was feuding. What was it with Beth Phoenix? I think when she was feuding with Beth Phoenix, I think that's when she became a little bit more aggressive. She would have to be a lot more aggressive in order to fit in this storyline uh, for the whole Divas Revolution. Even though Divas Revolution isn't necessarily a storyline, it's actually a thing. 
but um but she would let she would literally have to be edgier in my opinion in order for her to fit in it i'm not saying she can't fit in it at all she would probably have to change her image a little bit but but not, not completely yeah but anyway uh great set of questions man and i will continue these questions that are on youtube and i got two individuals from youtube right now so i will continue to talk about that <laughs> Um, my first set of questions comes from, of course, Dustin Nunn. Do, um, do you think WWE should reunite Rybaxel? No. <laughs> no. I'm be honest. Curtis Axel, well, he's the forgettable one. He literally had to create another gimmick that he had to steal someone else's gimmick in order to get noticed, and he's still not getting noticed. Ryback is the IC champ at the moment actually no he's not the IC champ because now Kevin Owens is but he did get a championship he got his first so honestly Ryback is doing a lot better without Curtis Axel and even though Curtis Axel's with Ryback he wasn't doing anything for Ryback and Ryback wasn't doing anything for Curtis Axel so no they should not reunite they should stay separated that's just me um moving on to my final set of questions coming from Captain Jeff 87 why do you dislike the new day I will admit this, and this was on my last Raw review. I am honestly starting to grow attached to the New Day. I don't like their gimmick. I still don't like their gimmick. But I will say they are pretty entertaining, and I will be lying if I say they're not. Xavier Woods is the highlight of the freaking night every time he comes out with that trombone. He makes it, he gives you a little bit more energy to get through that second hour or that third hour. He literally hypes you up. To get you through the final hour. Because it's three hours of Raw. That's a lot, man. But he's entertaining enough to make you want to watch more. I can't say the same thing about the other two. I know that um, that that Kofi Kingston tries. I know that Big E tries in a very dysfunctional, preacher, reverend kind of way. But despite all that, I will say that without Xavier Woods, it would, it would probably be boring or like any other tag team. That's just me. He's actually the flair of the entire group. So, yeah, I will say this. They are growing on me. I don't like the gimmick, but they're growing on me. Moving on to your second question. Okay. And this is Mortal Kombat question, which I like Mortal Kombat. Who would you like to see as, the, as a guest character in Mortal Kombat? Anybody that does not come from 80s horror, 80s or early 90s horror, I will be fine with that. Recreate a freaking character. They already got Tremor, which is cool for, uh, for Mortal Kombat 10. And then they also have Tanya, part of the DLC package for Mortal Kombat 10. And then they got two other, they got two other folks. They got the Predator, and then they got Jason Voorhees. Ugh. All I can say is anybody that's not from 1980s or 1990s horror films. I am fine with that. Just be creative. Create a character that is different from all the others. You already had Tremor, somebody that was rumored to be in the old games, and you finally have an opportunity to play with him. Tanya was cool. She was all right. Um, but not so much to be a DLC character. But all I have to say is, shoot, bring back freaking Dairu. That's one thing, I, I'm going to say that. For a guest character, bring back Dairu. Because Dairu was cool. For those that did not play, not Mortal Kombat Armageddon, but Mortal Kombat Deception. For those that didn't play Deception on the original Xbox, there is this cool character from, from Sato, the, the Realm of Order, known as Dairu. I think he's an assassin from the Realm of Order. He is the coolest character I have ever seen in my life. His moves alone is awesome. His sword is sweet. He, the guy is cool up and down. I'm like, you didn't bring him back? You brought back Jason Voorhees? Bring back freaking Dairu. I'd rather see Dairu than Jason Voorhees. Or Freddy. By all means. Bring back Dairu. That's my, that, that's my answer right there. But, y'all, <laughs> thank you so much for sending me questions. If you have any more questions for me, by all means, send them to me via YouTube or on Twitter at RKH30, hashtag NatureGirlQ&A. It's NatureGirl30 signing off. Peace out. Later.
don't wanna lose her. You better move her. 